That dog owner is Waukesha County Sheriff's Detective Joseph Mensa. This attack happened Thursday in Mensa's Greenfield home while he was away from the property. According to police, movers were at Mensa's home and there were three dogs inside, all in crates, according to a police report. But somehow one of the dogs managed to get out of its crate. Here's what happened next, according to a witness. We already ran out once we heard him. We, were, we all booked out the house, but she was in a basement and didn't okay. hear us. The dog broke out. Everybody shattered. She was in a basement. And we was like, holy f she walked up. The dog got her. That dog eventually let the woman go. This is her on the back of a truck. Her co-workers pulled her into that truck and only opened it when police arrived at the scene. By the time police got there, the dog had already let the woman go. As we mentioned, she was unable to speak to police in this moment right here. But the police report notes medics believe the dog bit her at least 10 times. These are some of the images we are able to show you. The rest of them are just too graphic for television. At some point, Mensa comes home to see police and medics outside his house. So, I just can't let them out. I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea you guys were coming. I had no idea what happened. I knew nothing happened. I literally just got So it's I'm guessing you haven't had an incident with him at all. He's being nine months old, newer dog. How long have you had him? Uh, since he was about eight weeks old. Okay. Well, I mean, she's pretty bit up. Like, yeah, I don't know if you, but like she's got some pretty big lacerations and obviously with all the blood on your dog too. And according to the police report, the dog was not licensed through the city of Greenfield, and so police are issuing two separate citations to Joseph Mensa, one for harboring a vicious animal, the other for animal licensing. Animal Control did take possession of that pit bull, and they put it down.